Welcome to Ron Will's Money Matters. Create your own job. And um, meantime, I'm testing out a way of doing the uh, mic. People be holding this up and everything. I'm going to put it right here. I got a big voice. Anyway, <laughs> check it out. Create your own job. Now, this is kind of a follow-up to what I was uh, talking about in my last video, talking about, you know, American men not working is a major issue. Here's the thing. Going, the reality is, and this is something my late mother said, and she was very profound. She was dealing with a lot of, uh, she was dealing with some mental illness issues, but, you know, sometimes you listen to somebody, they still hit you with some great wisdom. And I remember I was having a conversation with her about like the jobs that were disappearing. This was uh, this was about when the uh, just right before the Great Recession, right before we had this conversation. You know, it's about it, we're about to get into it. I would say uh, probably the summer of two thousand seven, and there was already there were already signs and everything. Something was about to happen. If you know how to look, you can see what's about to happen. But I remember I said, yeah, all these jobs disappearing. I said, she was just kind of shrugged and said, just create new ones. <laughs> you know, sometimes the answer is easy. And, you know, I was talking about the American men not working, but one of the things I promote is creating your own business. Even in my book, Nice Guys and Players, I tell men, even if they have a business, even if they have a career making six figures, create something that they can totally control you know uh, create a, just create something it don't have to be a major business you making a lot of money but it could be just something and i've known plenty of men who who would do that they created something that they could get compensation for and i'm gonna tell you what that's one of the things that is very important for men you can't you know because let's just be real out here it's not going to be easy. There's so many people being laid off now. This going to be as as this is going to be published because I always publish my stuff. I always uh, set my stuff, record my stuff early. Somebody's going to be laid off today, probably as I'm speaking. And you have a lot of people, both men and women, but I really want to emphasize the men who they are having trouble finding a job. Yeah, there are plenty, but. If you look at it, what region are they in? Maybe they're not in a region where there's a lot. Indeed, I saw something on the news last night because of this, uh, uh, you can call it an epidemic of retail theft. There are like uh, stores talking about closing. That's somebody, those are jobs right there. Those are jobs. But the only thing that can be done is to create a job. Now, somebody will say, well, I don't know what to do. Start with whatever your skills are. Start with your skills. And it could be small. Like uh, I remember like times I would be driving through Baltimore and I'll see kids on the side of the road selling water. Hey, that's a job. It's very small, but you never know. Or I remember I was thinking about like when I was in downtown, working in downtown DC back in the 90s. And you'd be guys on the side who would shine your shoes. They would shine your shoes. And these guys had major exec, we're talking DC major suited executives who would come up and get their shoes shine. Suited executives like attorneys, uh, uh, corporate executives and stuff in downtown DC, that's, that's attorneyville. And they would just go up. But then I was thinking about it. Like I had a guy who would do my shoes and give him $5. And I was thinking about it, like, this is an early 90s money, you know, 10, you know, and I would give them five, but, you know, somebody with a little bit more money might give them 10, you know, 20, 30 people a day, you know, somebody shine 20, 30 uh, shoes a day, people's shoes a day, shoot, they were making a little bit of money. They were making some money. In fact, I had a friend, he was working with another guy who was recycling, like getting like recycled cans and stuff just off the street and stuff and take them someplace, get a little bit of money. But that's job creation. Any skill that you can do. In fact, I've told, I've talked before about working retail. 
working retail. I worked as a, uh, at a major department store as a merchandiser. I actually thought about it. I was like, hmm, I could, do, I could do this job or I can create this business where I merchandise, offer merchandising services to small, like, small shops or something. Now, usually in those shops, they sell their own stuff, but you never know. And I ain't really go forward with it, but it's still something. You just never know. In fact, I remember my uncle, like in retirement, he had a little like freelance thing where he he would go to uh, different um, warehouses and stuff and actually help empty the trucks. So it was just like, wait a minute, job, job, cleaning, whatever. You know, you never know who needs services. I remember when I was young, my grandmother, you know, may she always rest in peace. Um, she would rent me out to people. She said, oh yeah, you're gonna go over uh, Miss So-and-So's place and clean up her house. I say, Grandma, I don't wanna do that. I don't, and she'd look at me. I don't remember that being, I'm giving you an option. But I would get paid though, <laughs> I would get paid. You know, and that's an important thing. That's an important thing. Having the mindset of just creating. You never know, you never know. I mean, yeah, you like, okay, like this thing of, uh, like DoorDash or something like that. And they got plenty of companies that created, but what if you did that yourself? Or here's another one, you know? What if you can cook real well? What if you can cook real well? And you live in a neighborhood, like uh, I remember a mentor mentioned this, uh, you know, you have a neighborhood where all the women, are they going out working? Some bougie neighborhood. See, a one woman who stays home could cook all the meals for them and, you know, get paid. There's so much because all it is, you creating a service. You, you, you finding a service and you offering it, you know? It could be cleaning windows or something. In fact, there was some controversy because, well, they kind of they kind of annoying like those uh, street cleaners. They come up to your car, squeegee, squeegee boys. They kind of annoying, but what if one of them was smart about it and say, hey, I'm going to put up a sign, I'm going to offer it to you. Or some little kids do. Like when it's warm out, I've seen kids got their lemonade stands out. I remember there was a mother and daughter. Her daughter had a lemonade stand and a local, uh, a local plaza allowed her to set up like in the parking lot. You know, they had the car there, they brought the stuff out and people were lined up. And then, you know, you still get kids selling lemonade, which is they making a little bit of money, you know. Or I'm going to tell you what, maybe you're good at selling stuff. Maybe you're good at selling stuff. One of the things I did, because I told you I had a thousand jobs, but one of the things I had was I had a table set up at a flea market uh, in Maryland uh, early two, in the early 2000s. I had a flea market, and um, you know, a table at the flea market. I started out selling just used books. I started out selling used books, and they went from there. Indeed, with flea markets, Especially, you could just set it up so you could just sell goods or something. And then really tap into, like, do an internet search on wholesale places. Like, I know a wholesale place now, and I haven't checked them in years, but they sell, um, they sell actually new, um, new but discounted um, luxury goods like polos and like uh, Lacoste and all of that. The, the way the retail thing works, they always have a new designs and stuff every year. They'll have the basics, but designs. And then, you know, but if you know where to get it from, because I was actually thinking about setting up at several flea markets, and I still might do that, um, you know, a luxury type of thing. I mean, I would probably have to have, uh, I would have to be, I would probably have to have another person, but you may can create a job that way. You know, you got people who've created jobs. In fact, being a vendor, and I've vended at events and flea markets. I've said, guys, I remember when it was a big deal to, uh, you know, this is just before, so I, I, I peeped this just before smartphones became popular, when they had those regular cell phones, and they could put, like, tunes on them. And I remember I was at one flea market, and there was a guy, that was his thing. He set it up. He just put tunes on your phone. Look, create your own job. Think about what skills you at, and then think about it. And especially in the day of social media and stuff. 
there's a lot of content creators who've created. Now, it's not everyone, but they created something. You know? You could, it, it could be whatever. It could be whatever. But that's the thing that has to be thought about now. The jobs might, depend on where you're at, they, they might not have, like, a jobs. But think about, okay, what can I do? You know? Shoot, babysitting is a job. You know, where I used to live in Edgewood, Maryland, right next door was a stay-at-home mom. But she had, she actually had a very lucrative, lucrative daycare. She set up, got the licenses and everything. Her husband was a plumber. And she would just sit there and be chilling. All these kids. <laughs> but you can create something. And see, that's the thing that has to be focused on, creating the jobs. Creating and then really just training people to create, you know? Because, you know, they, and the reason why I've got so creative, because there were periods in my time, there was periods in my life, I didn't have much, I had to just hustle. Shoot, I did a lot of stuff. Shoot, I was even a certified personal trainer one time, had some business. <laughs> yes, Ron really did have a thousand jobs. Let me say something to that real quick. Cause some, I, re, I saw a comment by a detractor and they ain't believe it. They were talking on somebody else's thing. It was like, well, what's there not to believe? I'm a workaholic. I'm a hustler. <laughs> you know? And I've had a long life. Had a long life and got just as long a time to go. But I've done a lot. Because even when I had full time jobs, I would have stuff on the side, even then. So, that was one of them. Even then, you know what? <laughs> I even had a line of athletic t-shirts. <laughs> yeah, I got to get around to doing some shirts on these uh, YouTube pages. But maybe, yeah, do something next year, maybe. But anyway, I want you to really think about that, okay? Think about it. Create your own job, all right? So anyway, let me do some cliche. I'll see y'all next year. So anyway, when I see y'all next year, you know the deal. Let's go make that money.